G'day! In today's video, I'm replacing a display on a Oppo Realme 5. So to begin with, I'm gonna, I've had it on this heat pad, this heat pad, for around about 15 minutes at 75 degrees Celsius. Which, with a bit of luck, I should be able to remove the back without too much hindrance. Now, being it's a plastic back, it's gonna be more force than anything to get this open. Slightly different technique to opening it on a Samsung. There we go, I've got my fin pry tool in there. But what I'm gonna do is use a larger pry tool and just twist. Stick it in, twist. There we go, just a bit of pulling it up and it's lifting. Do need to be cautious up the top here as there is a fingerprint scanner. And I'm not sure how it attaches. There we go, and I'm in. It does look to be the original gasket. Here, this will come off, this will come off. Or at least that's my plan of attack. I'm also gonna assume all the screw sizes are identical. Now, Realme is one brand I haven't seen too much about lately. They definitely seem to be getting bigger than what they were. Personally, I'm a Xiaomi fan. I also believe they have too many different models of phones. But more competition is usually better. Now, next up from here, I'm gonna wanna take out the SIM tray. When I have a long enough Eject tool. Bingo. Now from here, this should separate. Try it another way. Oh yeah, some Windows XP for the day. Miss one screw, just at the bottom here. No amount of prime will get me into there if I miss that. And we're separated and in. Next up from here, disconnect the battery. And pull the tab. battery out. Now I need to pull this off to the side. And disconnect. And what I'm probably going to do as well is remove this home oh, fingerprint scanner. Put that off to the side. And now I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to try and push this original screen out. 
I don't know. Don't even need to do that. Just my thumb. Now, if you do it pretty well, you should be able to leave the, or pretty much not lose any glass onto the frame. So that was okay. A couple of shards up in the corner here. Just grab some bubble wrap. Because I don't want to put the board down on the heat pad directly. Now it's a matter of cleaning out this glass. Because if you don't do this step well enough, you will end up damaging the new display that, would, that will go in. Just looking for a flathead screwdriver. So far this is going pretty well. There we go. And next up from here, toothbrush. Even though I'm pretty confident all the glass shards are gone, it's, just, it's not worth risking it. factory adhesive stuck in this corner up here. Which that will have issues with fitment if that's still there. So it's best to fully clear it away. And now I'm happy with that. Next up, compare your replacement screen with the factory one. Granted, you could do this before as well just to make sure you've got the right model. That's looking pretty good. So from here, we're about nearly halfway at the moment. Screen looks like a screen, same connection. Should be okay. So from here, I'm gonna put a thin bit of adhesive around the outer perimeter. Usually I use B7000. I think today I'm gonna to use some S78000, purely for the reason that it's black. Ah, there's still some more here. Cleared. Great. So you can do it one of two ways. You could either go around the, tr the bezel or the glass. Of the, uh, you could put the adhesive on the, the frame itself, or you can put it on the glass itself. Entirely up to you. It's crazy how little amount of framing is actually here for the screen to stick on. So good job Oppo on actually keeping that screen attached considering how little there is to attach to. Careful not to get any glue on the actual camera itself. That would certainly suck. I also believe the earpiece speaker's up there too. So you don't want to fully seal this area up either. There we go. It's gonna do for now.
So now from here, I need to feed this through. I'm just noticing a small little cutout circle here. But I'm not seeing where it corresponds to on the actual screen. I think I may have put too much adhesive over here. Yes, so there is a small little dot there. Q-tip and some alcohol, that'd be perfect. I don't, but I do have a tissue with some alcohol. Nah, bugger, we're going pear-shaped. Second. There we go. Now I'm a bit happier with that. Put in some more. There we go. And let's feed that screen through. Now I'll have a bit more luck. Sorry, I forgot to zoom you guys out there. As you can see, connection, connection is through, connection is on, it's a matter of getting it to sit right. There we go, that's sitting pretty darn good. The screen's looking pretty darn good. Just sticking a little up on the bottom here, but squeeze that down and we should be good. So from here, it's a matter of reinstalling the battery. And getting it all back together again. If I can actually get this off. There we go. Battery connected, pushed in, disconnect it for a second, reconnect the fingerprint connector, reconnect the battery. Now, from here, it's time to put the back framing back on, put all the screws in. And nearly homeward bound.
screws are now back in. Our back cover, I will need to do some of the gasket again. Uh, might be able to get away without not having to retape it. But down here is stretched as well. Now a whole bunch of just pressure around the outsides. We'll get that to stick back. From there, put the sim tray and sim back in. Oop, upside down. And there we go. That's how to replace the display on your Oppo Realme 5. See ya.